Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I'm going to be taking you on a quick walkthrough for how to remove the frame rate cap in Metal Gear Solid 5. Now, if you watched my performance review recently, you saw that I mentioned that on the PC, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain is capped at 60 FPS on the PC, and there's no way in the normal game menus to remove that FPS cap. But there is a way to do it, actually. It's quick and easy. You just have to go into your config and do it now. If you do need a visual reference for this besides this video, you can go to PCGamingWiki.com, where they have the instructions listed step-by-step -step on here. Uh, to get here, basically, you just go to PCGamingWiki.com, search for your game of choice. In this case, we're doing Metal Gear Solid 5, so you would just search that there. Click Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain right there. And then you can just scroll down here to where it says high frame rate and it tells you exactly where the file is located and how to adjust it and what you have to do. So in order to do this, you're going to open up your Steam folder wherever you have Steam installed in your PC. It might be C or E or whatever drive you have it on. For me, it's F and I have a games folder. And then I'm just going to come to my Steam folder right here. Then from there, we're going to come down to user data. We're going to open that up. And then in here, you might have multiple profiles. For me, I only have one Steam profile, so that's the only one I have in here, so I don't need to really worry about it. About it but you may need to find your specific profile if you do have multiple uh, user profiles on your PC so we're gonna go ahead and open that up and you should find a bunch of files in here with a bunch of numbers and the one you're gonna want to concern yourself with is the one that's numbered 287700 that's the Metal Gear Solid 5 user data folder you're gonna go ahead and open that up then cl double click on local and then you will find the phantom pain graphics config in here called TPP underscore graphics underscore config I'm gonna go ahead and right click that and go to open with and then just open it with whatever uh, notepad editing file you have notepad or notepad plus plus it really doesn't matter so we're going to go ahead and open that up and then we're just going to go ahead and hit control F so we could search and we're going to search for the word frame rate one word frame rate just click find next and then you'll find it right there and this is the option we're looking here frame rate control now by default this is going to be set to auto so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and just delete that and then just change it to variable with a capital V that's Victor so we're going to set that to variable and then we can just go ahead and close out of here and when it prompts us if we want to save we're going to hit yes we're just going to save and then that will be edited and you can now go into Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and your frame rate will be uncapped. Now, it will probably uh, stop you out at about 100 FPS in game, although in the menus it will go higher than that. But in the actual gameplay, I haven't seen my frame rate go higher than 100. And I have also seen my video memory go up by usage a little bit from using this edit so beware if you are on a lower video memory system this might push your vram a little bit higher but for me it hasn't been an issue since i have about six gigs of vram uh this has taken it up to around 3,000 megabytes total at 1440p so you know your mileage may vary as far as that is concerned depending on what resolution you're playing and what graphics card you're using so try it out hopefully you guys just get a nice boost uh as far as the frame rate is concerned if you're out there on a 144 hertz monitor but i'm going to go ahead and get out of here now guys if you learned something new or if this video helped you out please show me by sticking a thumbs up on it below i would really appreciate that and i'll catch you next time Ta -ra.